Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, digital book reports. My name is Ashley Roki. And I'm Guy Trainin. This is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're talking about digital book reports. Um, we ask kids to read a lot. We want them to read a lot. We ask them to report once in a while. Uh, written reports are great, but once in a while we want to spice it up and do something different. And digital devices, especially the iPad, allow us to do quite a bit of it. So let's look at some apps that will help you create digital book reports. Okay, the first app that I'm going to talk about is Tell a Story. Mm -hmm. And this is basically where you have kids create their own movie. Mm -hmm. So you can see if you hold it, it puts your face in the different, um, several different categories here. Okay. So kids could have fun picking. Let's do this one. Sound effects. <laughs> yeah, sound effects are important. It's time to choose your first scene. Okay, so you can select from multiple scenes. Multiple scenes. And then this is where you pick your, your story, story or mm -hmm. you write your own. Yeah. So um, it gives you several options if you're just practicing or mm -hmm. having students practice with it. But if you click on the pencil down here, it lets you write your own cue cards. Okay. So let's do the three little pigs. All right. In space. In space. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. You're all mic'd up. Now choose your costume and tap okay. start when you're ready to film. Again, it gives you directions. Mm -hmm. Walk with you. The Record three. Record your show oh. in three, Count two, down. one, action. The three little pigs. So we've got so, the first scene. The first scene. The three little pigs. And then you can either redo it or mm -hmm. accept it. And then you get to the next scene. Next one. So very step by step. Mm -hmm. But the students, the cue cards are really nice because the students can write whatever they need to. On okay. There. And a way to address this is to use, for example, for narrative text, the five big ideas. So mm -hmm. what is the setting? Well, who are the characters, what is the plot, what is the conclusion, that kind of thing can be really yeah. easily done mm -hmm. in something like Tell a Story. Yeah, and I just think this is a really fun way for mm -hmm. students to do book reporting. And yeah. how do you share this then? So, so let's try to create something short, save it and share it. You fixated on the star. Yeah. Sure, I can see that. You're going like to be it. a star. Let's choose your first scene. What happens in this scene? Pick a cue card or write your own. Places, everyone. Now choose your costume and tap start when you're Record ready. Record your play. show in three, two, one, action. The Three Little Pigs. Okay, Thanks. so we've got our so we first got our scene. scene. And we're the okay. Three Little Pigs. Okay. That was prime time. What and happens now next? Now we okay the whole thing. Yeah, we'll go here. One last step. What's the name of your show? So, so it, it exports to the camera roll, and yeah. then you can send it or you can upload it mm -hmm. to YouTube through the camera roll. So there are ways to share this beyond this app, but it's not really directly from the app, it looks like. Right. OK. Yeah. So this one is called Tell a Story, and it's a great way to, kids, to get kids to be creative. It structures them step by step, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And we as teachers, especially early on, can actually dictate what these categories are. You've got to talk about the theme. You've got to talk about characters. You've got to about, talk about plot and resolution, those kind of things. It helps them think through it. It helps teach them the narrative structure and to tell a good story. So uh, what is the next app you're going to show us? The next app that I have is Pic Collage. All right. And we've talked about Pic Collage in the past, but I think that Pic Collage is one of those apps that really you can use in multiple mm -hmm. ways, and this is one of them. 
Yeah, this is, I didn't even think about, and I was like looking through my apps, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I, you could definitely use this for a book report. So yep. um, here's just an example of something I've done. This was in my social studies class. Mm -hmm. um, so you can put text, you can put pictures, so that's how students could do a book report. Let's um, create one. All right. So you just tap anywhere to add a photo, and see, when you tap on the screen, it gives you several options. Mm -hmm. So you can do photos, text, stickers, change the background. Add some stickers. Add some stickers. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And let's do text. Some text. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the text, you see there's several different options mm -hmm. for um, the font and yeah. size and everything. So you so can, from a design perspective, you could do quite a bit, which so is both a blessing and a curse. Going exactly. back to the idea that sometimes we want things simple. So um, you want to make sure that uh, if kids do tend to get stuck on the details, you time or in some other way manage their choices so it doesn't become just this circular mm -hmm. activity around just choosing the right font, but that they actually move forward. And you can bring in images, photos, images, and from YouTube. Which is new. I haven't been yeah. on here to see that. So. And what is important to remember when you bring things from YouTube is if YouTube is blocked at your mm -hmm. school, that's probably not going to come through. So you've got to plan in advance. And also uh, remember that if you're working with younger kids, or even with older kids, mm -hmm. definitely all the way to middle school, you've got to talk about what's appropriate and what's not. And how do you conduct a search that does not include things you don't want right. to see? And how do you act if they come up even mm -hmm. by mistake? And so you want to make sure that that digital citizens are citizenship piece is mm -hmm. there and uh, we discuss it before uh, things happen because invariably if they're doing a search on the web they'll find something that is moderately or more than moderately inappropriate the parents are concerned we as teachers are concerned so we really want to make sure that they know what to do and we've discussed it so there's no excuse for inappropriate behavior and if it happens we can uh, design appropriate mm -hmm. consequences so, um, yep, you see several options. Mm -hmm. So let's see how we can share it. So it gives me several op several options, Instagram, Facebook, Picolage. Yeah, and it, what you can see is, again, it depends really on what choices the school has made mm -hmm. about uh, sharing and about social media. Mm -hmm. So if social media is approved in your school and kids have accounts, they're over the, the age, uh, for I think 14 is right now the age for most social media and their parents are okay with it and you're okay with it you can use that but you can also use email you can use a uh, Google Drive mm -hmm. to store it uh, because it'll allow you to access anything else that you have there so you can have actually multiple outputs that will be appropriate in this context yep the last one that I want to talk about is actually a, an old one, and that is iMovie. iMovie has created the option to create trailers, which makes them really short. They have a structure. You include a few pictures, a few words, potentially music, and you're done. So if you go to a iMovie, this is iMovie on the iPad, and you just choose a trailer, you can see that there are different kinds of trailers. This will be a retro. 60s kind of uh, take and you can see what it'll look like right and you can see how these structure because they're aimed at movies which are inherently narrative structures you can easily find something that'll work really well for anybody uh, you have a few words and you have to be very careful and selective about the images you use, but it works very much the same way as creating the movie in the telestory mm -hmm. in a way, except that it adds the music and all of those elements. And again, uh, sharing, because it's an iMovie, will be through, again, saving it to the device and exporting it to uh, different sharing sites. So this is iMovie 
and I suggest using the trailer feature because it bounds the activity. So right. you, uh, because in iMovie, you can get crazy. It can take many, yes. many hours to create in it. So what we're trying to do by working through the trailer is making sure that it's limited. Mm -hmm. So today we talked about a few apps that will help you create digital uh, book reports. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.